Hello, I'm Andrea Thielen, the Admissions Manager, and I'll be discussing the admissions process with you today and how to apply to the undergraduate courses at RCSI Bahrain. You can head to our website to access various sources of information, such as the prospectus, the full entry requirements, course fees, and more information on how to submit your application. We have two undergraduate medicine programs available. We also have a medical commencement program and a nursing program. The route of entry to these programs is dependent on your educational background. Next, we will have a look at the program deadlines for this admissions intake. For year one, the five-year program, the deadline to submit your application is the 31st of March. For foundation year, the six-year program, the deadline is the 30th of April. And for both the medical commencement program and nursing, we have a rolling admissions. Please note for all year one offers, they will be released in April. Now moving on to the application process. Application process starts by applying online on our website, uploading all of the required documents, such as your academic reference, personal statement, and your grades, etc. If successful, you will be then brought to interview and your outcome will be emailed after this stage. If you receive an offer, the validity will be stated clearly in your offer letter. When you are applying on the website, you will be required to pay a non-refundable application fee. This is $50 for nursing and $100 for medicine. You will also receive an email that confirms receipt of your application. When you're applying on the website, you need to choose the tab of the course you wish to apply for, Select the red button, which is called Apply Now, and carefully read the instructions. We also suggest having your documents saved in your desktop so they're easily uploaded. However, you can use the option Save and Exit in the application portal at any time. As a new user of the system, you will choose the New Account button. And please be mindful when creating your username and password to follow the correct guidelines to avoid getting any errors. Also, please save your login details as you'll require them in future stages. On your application, you will be asked to enter some personal information, your education qualification, and upload all of your required documents. The essential documents that are required for your medicine application is as follows. Your secondary school transcripts, university transcripts if applicable, your English language qualification, scanned copy of your identifications, your academic evaluation form, and your personal statement. For the American high school applicants, you're also required to submit your SAT score. Essential documentation required for the nursing applications is as follows. Your secondary school transcripts, university transcripts, if applicable, your English language qualification, if you have one already, a scanned copy of your passport and your identifications, and your academic reference form. Moving on to the next stage, the interview. Criteria for an interview. Eligible applicants considered to be competitive will be notified by email of their interview details. You'll be interviewed by either one or two of the academic team and they'll be assessing your communication skills, your maturity, motivation, and a suitability for a career in healthcare. Nursing applicants will be required to sit the English Aptus exam if they are successful at interview stage. We are also interested in what motivates you for your chosen career. All of our interviews are conducted online over platforms such as Microsoft Teams and you will receive full instructions in advance. Now on to what happens after your interview. All applicants are considered by the admissions committee and recommended for appropriate entry stage. You will be notified of your outcome after your interview by email in due course. There are four possible outcomes. You will receive a full offer, you could receive a conditional offer, be placed on a wait list or issued with a regret letter. Now let's take a look at how to accept your offer. In your offer letter, you will be directed to a website called Inside RCSI. You follow the instructions here fully on how to accept your offer. You will be required to pay a non-refundable deposit of 25%. You can also start the process of submitting your completed immunization and infectious disease screenings online, and you can begin your process of authenticating your documents once you have received your final grades. 
you will be required to submit the signed student agreement, acceptance of offer and proof of payment. Once you receive your final confirmation results, you will be required to submit them to the admissions office. This will determine if you have met your grades on your conditional offer or if you will be offered a alternative program subject to availability. You will then receive a final outcome offer letter. Stage five, registering and enrolling at RCSI Bahrain. You'll be required to submit the attested original hard copy documents to complete your registration process. Ensure all of your student health reports are uploaded online and you will have completed your payment of the first year fees, which is due on the 30th of June 2023. You will be invited and attend orientation. Some application tips from me. You will be encouraged to complete your extracurricular experience in healthcare and any general extracurricular activities and accomplishments. These are taken into account in re application review. Take time to prepare for your interview. Prepare and aim to take your IELTS English exam in advance so you have your results when applying online. Sign up to the platform inside RCSI. Read and carefully follow the instructions in your offer letter and ensure you read all of the policies. Also, please carefully read the attestation guidelines. This is very important and you will need to submit your original documents for completing your registration process. We do encourage you to get your application submitted and completed as soon as possible. As we have introduced wait lists in the previous intakes for nursing and medicine due to the high number of applicants for each programme. That comes to the end of my presentation today. I'd like to thank you for your attendance and I look forward to speaking with you further. Please also join our questions and answer session today at 4pm. Thank you. Bye bye.